Mikey Garcia is right for clapping back at Terrence Crawford. Ain't nobody throwing in the towel unless it's coming from Derrick James watching his boy Earl away Bully Spence get tapped up like he never seen before. You know, there's so many different equations to this math that I want to break down to you guys, man. If we look at it, man, Earl away Bully Spence is in a great position. You know, Mikey Garcia saved him from getting in the ring with Terrence Crawford because if it wasn't for Mikey, who would your boy the way Bully Spence fight? Think about it, right? Now, at the end, look, look, Mikey Garcia definitely avoided Terrence Crawford. I'll be the first to say that. I said that in several of my videos. But the reason Mikey avoided Terrence Crawford wasn't because he was scared. It's because of footwork. Mikey Garcia needs somebody. He want to be in the ring with somebody, I should say, that's going to come forward and slug it out. But this is boxing. You got to get in the ring with whoever, whatever style that guy possesses. And you got to go in there and conquer. I get that. But... The reason I believe Mikey avoided Thomas Crawford is because of the footwork. You understand what I'm saying? Now, your boy, the way Bully Spence, don't have footwork. He's going to be right there for Mikey to work. Mikey going to come forward. Mikey going to be on the back foot. Mikey going to be side to side. Mikey explained at the press conference the reason why he wanted to fight the way Bully Spence. And it's because... He sees himself in the way bully, but everything that the way bully possesses, Mikey says he can do it just a little bit better, and he's gonna prove that come fight night. You think Mikey gonna get in the ring and stand right in front of the way bully? You think he gonna be in the pocket for long periods of time, getting hit to the body? You know, dealing with all the way bully got to offer? Nah, man, Mikey gonna box circles around this dude, man. And Mikey is correct; he is just a little bit better than the way bully Spence, man. But his IQ. And his experience is much, much higher than the way Bully Spence, man. Terrence Crawford, I ain't got nothing bad to say about the dude, man. He's a great fighter, man. I would love to see him in the ring with Mikey Garcia. But at this point, I can't even break that fight down. But like Mikey said, man, if it wasn't for Mikey, Terrence Crawford would be a nobody. Terrence Crawford wouldn't be in the business. Bob wouldn't even know who Terrence Crawford is. My boy Mikey Garcia introduced Terrence Crawford to the world. People say it was Tim Bradley, but Tim Bradley, he's a hater on the low. Mikey Garcia introduced your boy that we love today. And I'm happy he did because Terrence Crawford is a problem. You see what I'm saying? He put hands and feet on Timothy Bradley and sparring. Timothy Bradley at, definitely admitted that as well. You see what I'm talking about, man? But at the end of the day, man, don't let these other YouTubers fool you, man. Listen, we're going to support Mikey Garcia in this fight, man. Win or lose. You see what I'm saying? When we back somebody, we back him, man. And we ride with him. Look, man, he's a young, strong, you know, in his prime, champion, undefeated. And he's stepping up big time. Not, you know, for me, it's not big time like if Mike, like if the way Bully is all that. It's just size. And everybody knows it. Look, Spence even said it at the, at the press conference. Now, he said... What'd he say? He said, man, listen, man, you know, everybody keep talking about I ain't got boxing skills. Like, I'm just a, you know, a guy with no brain and I come straight forward, no special effects. And that's the truth. He heard the truth. You understand what I'm saying? He heard, he, he has heard all these rumors. And they're not rumors. We see him in the ring. We know what he can do. You understand what I'm saying? Like I said before, if he comes in the fight and he does, you know, a lot of different things like use the jab, double the jab, Move off the back for use angles because he's going to need to do some of those things to beat Mikey Garcia. He can't come forward and beat Mikey Garcia because Mikey Garcia can move. He moves his head and he got power as well. Let me see. look. I was watching this one YouTube dude. He's probably, you know, he's known. I, I don't know. It's my first time watching him. He was in my feed, right? So he had mentioned something in the video. And I have said this multiple times in my videos, but. Being that i never seen him before and the fact that he mentioned the same tools that Mikey got and how Mikey is going to beat the way Bully Spence. Now, he went on record saying that he thought Mikey Garcia was going to lose to the way Bully because of size and, and strength and Mikey power wouldn't translate up. So, but he changed his pick because he does a lot of research. And I said, okay, let me hear what this dude's saying. And he said exactly what I said. Remember when I told you I always take y'all back to the El Campo fight. It's a reason for that. I know y'all like, yo, he knocked him out. I'm like, bruh, you're not understanding boxing. You got to look at the ups and downs of boxing. Just because a guy loses, I can even, I can even take you back to the Lamar Peterson fight, which, which uh, is a direct correlation to the fight with El Campo. 
Now, with Lamont Peterson, and, and I'm going to piggyback off what this guy said. I've said the same thing, but I've said it in several different videos, but he boiled it up in one. Same thing. I would give props to him, but it was a once time I seen this video once and I kept it moving. But at the end of the day, um, Lamont Peterson, right? Lamont Peterson, what did he do wrong? He stayed in the pocket. He didn't let his hands go. He used the high guard, and when, when your boy Spence was throwing shots, what did Peterson do? He held the high guard. The body was exposed. He didn't counter punch. But one thing he did great was he used the jab once in a while. But when he did, look at when he did use the jab. He threw the one and then he threw the two. And he was hitting your boy Spence straight down that pipe. Now, how did he hit, them, hit, my, hit your boy Spence down the pipe? Let me sum it up this way. Now. What Spence does is he stays in the pocket, he holds his ground, his feet is planted to the floor. To the floor. Now, when a guy throws a one or a one two or a one with a delay two, what Spence does is he does a herk. I call it a herky jerky. The kid just said lean back, but doesn't move his feet. And then he come back forward with his jab or his one two or his body shot. Now, what I'm saying is, what Lamont did was he threw the one two. So when when uh, Spence tried to block the one two with the high guard and lean back, he came forward. The two was there to hit him. Boom, straight down the pipe. Now with Mikey, Mikey's gonna be on his toes. Mikey's not gonna be in the pocket. Mikey got a great one too. Mikey understands angles. Mikey knows how to throw out that jab, and I'm pretty sure Mikey's gonna throw that one too. You gotta understand, Spence need to be stationary. Spence need to have his feet planted to the floor wherever he is at in that ring in order to generate power and in, in order to go to the body and in order to stop his opponent, man. And El Campo stood his ground early in that fight. He stood his ground. He counterpunched your boy Smith because Smith was doing that herky jerky move back tactic. And tomorrow I'm going to the park, man. I'm going to videotape myself just working out, and I'm going to perform that same movement that Earl Spence does. And it, it, it might be on this video here. I may before I put this video out, I may just put you know me uh, in the park uh, demonstrating what Earl Spence does on the picture in picture on my um, computer. So y'all can really understand what I'm talking about because sometimes words don't translate into what is he actually talking about. Because some of you guys probably don't watch film. I'm a boxing fan, man. I love boxing, so I don't mind going back to the old Campbell fight, to the fight or, or Peterson fight and things like that. You see what I'm saying? This is how I win my bets. This is how I, you know, break down fights. This is why I'm and so in love with boxing. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, Mikey is coming in this ring with a different mindset, and, and he understands. The, 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 the differences between the fighters he fought before and who was getting the ring with today. People talk about Salido. Salido was a good champion when he fought him. Salido was strong, powerful. He's a dog. He hit low. He hit high. And Salido is unstoppable when he's on. But Salido's a drunk now, man. You understand what I'm saying? Mikey overcame that fight. Mikey got hit. Mikey was young. You understand what I'm saying? Mikey didn't have that much experience. But we're not going to, you know, we're not going to be like, uh... Play, play any games, you know, he's a man, he was in that ring, he took a tough shot, it looked it like he didn't want to continue, give you that, but Mikey, but your boy, the way Bully Spence was rocked before too, which is a famous video online, put that in rotation, put that on repeat, he got rocked heavy, you see what I'm saying, and, and, and he, but the kid couldn't, there's a black guy, I forgot his name, but he couldn't, uh, you know, go to the body, go up top, he, used, he wasn't using angles, that damn kid could have got Wait, Bully Spence up out of the game that night, man. But he didn't have the other intangibles to do so. So at the end of the day, Mikey Garcia does. Now, you know, I'm happy that we got other guys on YouTube with differences of opinion. That's what boxing is all about. It's a beautiful thing. But at the end of the day, man, I'm going to be right on this one, man. I'm rolling and I'm riding with Mikey Garcia to the wheels fall off. Now, Terrence Crawford, it's all good, playboy. Do your thing. Talk your talk. You can't distract Mikey Garcia because Mikey Garcia is too experienced for that. You understand what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I would love to see you in the ring with Mikey. You will be a bigger challenge for Mikey than the way Bully Spence because your movement. Nothing else. You, no, no. Well, you, you got good um, yeah, footwork, ring IQ, and you a dog. You got a lot going for you. But I think Mikey Garcia... It's going to prove to us in the Earl Spence fight that he got other parts to his fight game that we haven't seen. <clears throat>
I'll leave you with this. Everybody keep talking about, you know, Broner was his best win. And they're not mentioning Eastern. But I would say that he had a lot of good wins. You guys just don't know how to pinpoint them because y'all looking at the names. You're not looking at what he had to do to overcome to beat those guys or what he did to beat those guys. But I would say this. He would have knocked out Adrian Broner. He would have knocked out uh, your boy uh, Eastern. But these guys was running. People want to say, you know, Broner is washed up. Broner is still athletic. He still got great feints. He still got a good jab. He still got good movement. But he doesn't know. He doesn't want to. Uh, he, he doesn't want to use his, off, his offense. That's his only problem, which is a big problem, which is everything, right? If you don't want to shoot shots, you can't win. So, but don't make it seem like Broner is a complete bum. Don't do that. But if you can, if you want to, but that's not going to lessen, you know, the support for my boy Mikey Garcia. And you can't make a real argument. The point is this. You can't say that he would, he, why he didn't knock out Broner and why he didn't knock out Easton. The fact is they ran, bruh. You can't knock somebody out they running. You may say cut the ring off. You can cut the ring off all you want to. But if he'll grab you and hold you for their life until the referee come in and then he'll do it again and do it again, you can't knock him out. I mean, you're not stupid, bro. I mean, at the end of the day, you're rocking with CBT. Man, I'm going to break it down to you and call it down the middle, man. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm watching some film right now on the way Bully Smith's man, watching some fights, checking some things out. I'm looking at the Bundu fight right now. Just looking at guys that don't have that much of a great that uh, great footwork i'm just trying to see where his angles is coming from you see what i'm saying at the end of the day man we're gonna break this thing down man you rocking with your boys subscribe to the channel man peace <laughs>